The issue that we're dealing with tonight, which has been briefly mentioned by the MC of the event, is jihad in Islam, or it's referred to as jihad. And we want to look at its comprehensiveness and we want to examine <clears throat> the issue. Is it unjust, indiscriminate violence or is it indeed justified? First of all, we consider this word jihad linguistically. Basically, it means to struggle, to exert one's utmost to obtain a particular objective, generally speaking. So from this, we have many words in Arabic. We have the word juhud, which means exertion. We have the word ijtahada, uh, from which we get mujtahid, or those scholars who exert their absolute utmost to ascertain the ruling of Allah in a particular matter or issue. So these scholars are called mujtahidun. We have the word mujahada from this root, which means to exert oneself vigorously and strenuously in one's ritualistic worship. So to do excessive amounts of night prayer, not excessive, but uh, an abundant amount of night prayer. Excessive indicates uh, too much excess, but you can't get too much of a good thing, as they say. So an abundant amount of night prayer, uh, uh, extreme or an abundant amount of voluntary fasting, all of these acts would be categorized as examples of mujahada or exertion, striving uh, diligently in one's uh, ritualistic worship. And from this word uh, root we get jihad. Jihad in the Quran has many meanings. So we're talking about, when we say this, we're talking about the meaning understood from the text of the Quran and not the applied meaning which was derived by the fuqaha or the jurist subsequently. For example, we have the word fiqh. Fiqh in Quran means understanding. It means understanding. The hadith man yuridillah bihi khayran yufakkihu fiddin. The one Allah Ta'ala desires good for, he gives a strong, he gives a sound understanding of the religion. Because the subsequent meaning of jurisprudence was derived later. So in the Quran, jihad has many different meanings. One, Allah Ta'ala says, وَمَنْ جَاهَدَ ثَلِي نَفْسِي عَفْوًا وَمَنْ جَاهَدَ فَإِنَّمَا يُجَاهِدُ لِنَفْسِي The one who uh, strives and commentators say to purify his soul amongst other meanings he does so for the benefit of his own soul وَمَنْ جَاهَدَ فَإِنَّمَا يُجَاهِدُ لِنَفْسِي one who strives and struggles and exerts himself to do what? Amongst other things, to purify himself or herself, he does so, she does so for the benefit of his own soul. And we'll come back to this meaning, inshallah ta'ala. Uh, Allah ta'ala says in the Quran, وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُولَنَا so Allah Ta'ala says, those who strive and struggle uh, for our sake, then we will guide them to our ways. And some say the ways of ascension. Uh, this means, the commentators say, those who do any good lawful action to advance the cause of Islam. So more general meaning then we will guide them in our ways. وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا 
لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُولَنَا Sometimes jihad means nothing but physically confronting those who take an antagonistic position against Islam and against the Muslim people, to physically fight. So this meaning is also included amongst the general meanings of jihad in the Qur'an. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنْفِرُوا خِفَافًا خِفَافًا وَثِقَالًا وَجَاهِدُوا فِي سَبِيلِ وَجَاهِدُوا بِأَمْوَالِكُمْ وَأَنفُسِكُمْ فِي سَبِيلِ لَا ذَلِكُمْ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ so go forth, whether you are light or heavy, meaning whether you are ill, uh, lightly armed or heavily armed. Whether you are in health or in sickness, sickness or health. And some commentators even say whether you're fat or skinny. And there's a story behind this. Go forth and strive, struggle, fight in the way of Allah with your wealth and with your persons that is best for you if you but knew. So from this uh, verse, uh, we'll enter directly into the subject, the subject or an aspect, critical aspect of the subject, physically fighting in the way of Islam. <laughs> 